A very warm welcome from the Hebei province of China. This is the beautiful and lush lake city of Hung Sui, and today sees the 2018 Hung Sui Lake International Marathon. Already bustling at the start line, and as you can see, the elite class international runners are all gathered at the front of the pack, as well as some of China's top runners. And with the klaxon, we are off. Runners are streaming past the line, and the 2018 Hung Sui Lake International Marathon is now officially underway. Quick bird's eye aerial view of the start finish area of the event, and even from the layout alone, you know immediately that it is a top event just by the look of it. The Hung Sui Lake International Marathon has actually been held for six consecutive years now. It was first run in 2012 and that was a silver level event in the Chinese National Marathon Championships. Then from 2013 to 2017, it reached the top rung, becoming a gold level marathon. In 2017, the Hung Sui Lake International Marathon was then awarded bronze level status by the IAAF, the International Amateur Athletic Federation. And very recently, just in May of 2018, the IAAF followed that with silver level status for this marathon event. So a steady increase and making it now the only marathon in China, Hebei province, to achieve both Chinese marathon gold level and IAAF silver level status. Let's check in with the weather. Bright sun today with a temperature of 18 degrees Celsius. Humidity is a steady 81% and no wind at the moment. So absolutely ideal conditions for these runners this morning. Interesting fact, the Hung Sui Lake International Marathon is the only such event in China that can genuinely be described as having a course that runs alongside a lake for the entire duration, as the start and finish lines, as well as a vast majority of the course, are all located right along the edge of Hung Sui Lake. It's an elaborately planned, designed and constructed track around the lake and has received positive feedback, mainly for its wide and flat surfaces as well as a gently sloping course. The altitude actually ranges between 21 meters to 26 meters above sea level and all the way complemented by the beauty of the surrounding terrain, landscaped with trees and flowers in bloom. The negative oxygen iron content of Hung Sui Lake is dozens of times higher than in neighboring cities in the area, allowing the lake and its immediate environs to serve as a kind of natural oxygen bar. The tracks around the lake are considered excellent for getting into and keeping in shape, while the high quality of the air itself helps to relieve fatigue rapidly and efficiently, assuring runners of being able to achieve better competition results than they might elsewhere in the world. The course itself is not too difficult, especially the first 10 kilometers, as you can see, which heads directly southward. It's a great course for the runners to warm up their bodies and maybe get into a very good running rhythm. That's what they need, good air and a nice steady temperature. Let's have a look at today's elite runners. The favorite in the men's category wearing A001 from Ethiopia, Haley Lemi Bahanu. He has a respectable personal best of 20433, set at the Dubai Marathon in 2016. He's followed by a trio of Kenyan runners who also have a personal best below 210, which should be interesting. 
And in the women's category, a Kenyan runner, Kilel Caroline Cheptonui, is top. Her personal best of 2.22.34 set at Vienna in 2016 makes her the favorite. However, she will have to battle a host of Ethiopian runners, all of which have personal bests below 2.30. Another big fight may be there. Altogether, this year's Hengsui Lake International Marathon has 18,000 participants in total from all over the world. 24 elite runners from New Zealand, Ethiopia, Uzbekistan, Australia, Kenya and Bahrain, together with 7,899 domestic amateur runners in the full marathon and more than 10,000 people taking on the 5-kilometer run. Add another 103 professional runners registered in the National Marathon Championships and that's amazing. A comfortable course with good air quality that keeps attracting more and more marathon lovers to Heng Sui Lake. This year, both male and female groups have put in some very good performances so far. Those good, stable performances from the female runners is a real feature of the Hung Sui Lake International Marathon. In my view, is the general level of female runners at the Hung Sui Lake International Marathon are some of the best in all of China's marathons. In 2015, the best female result was 2.25.43, and that broke the record of the event. Maybe, just maybe, they can rack up some very good results today as well. Time to check in with the route map for today. This marathon starts from Marathon Square, heads south through East Lake Avenue on the east side of Hengsui Lake towards Zhizhou District. It then turns west, heading through Lakeside Avenue in the northern part of Zhizhou District. After that, it's north through Middle Lake Avenue to North Lakeside Road, and then east through North Lakeside Road, finishes a complete circle around Hung Sui Lake. At that point, the course heads north towards the Hung Sui City Center, and then the turning point near the Hung Sui Science Technology Engineering School before finally hitting the finish line in Marathon Square. That's why the Hung Sui Lake International Marathon is the only around-the-lake marathon in China. The start point, finish point and main course all in the beautiful lakeside surroundings of Hung Sui Lake. A sound ecosystem and a lakeview running course have improved the overall atmosphere of the event and significantly stimulated the potential of competing runners. All very helpful for those runners to get better results. The finishing point for this year's 5km run, meanwhile, is in the venue of the first Hebei Gardening Exposition, an unforgettable experience with unique scenery of Chinese gardening in the venue for those 5km runners. Beautiful Hung Sui Lake has a past as well. In many historical documents, Hung Sui Lake was recorded by different names with the evolution of the city and a great many stories starting right here. You could also say Hung Sui Lake is a gift of nature. At present, it is the only one reserve of an inland freshwater wetland ecosystem that has remained intact on the North China Plain. Such an important national wetland, in fact, that it was approved by the State Council as a national nature reserve in 2003. In the words of Chinese President Xi Jinping, mountains, rivers, forests, farmlands, lakes and grasslands create a community of life. The building of an ecological civilization must take all these factors into consideration with good overall plans and multiple measures. The top priority is always winning the battle against air pollution to return the blue sky to the people of China. Following these words, the Hung Sui Municipal Government has made great efforts to eliminate pollution and improve the environment. According to the action plans of local government, Hung Sui is set to cut coal use, shut down polluters and promote cleaner production. While at the same time, the government will promote industry upgrades, eliminate overcapacity in production and tighten control over high polluting and energy intensive industries. But as we said, there are many other measures in place, including halting the over-exploitation of groundwater, building water diversion projects, improving the drinking water system in rural areas. So yes, the local water ecosystem has been improved dramatically. 
Hung Sui Lake now has a better view and so has become a very good tourist attraction. Back to the marathon, and this is the Chinese athlete Cao Chuang Hong, wearing number A021. He has hit a nice running rhythm, so it's pretty likely you might get a good time today. So here is where we are in the 5km event. The runners are currently on East Lake Avenue in Lakeside New District. Possibly the biggest advantage of the Hung Sui Lake International Marathon is that the first 10km is pretty much a straight road and quite flat. Good for maintaining a fast running pace and good speed in a very stable and balanced manner. Just one of the reasons why many professional runners can hit a 210 or better right here. Lakeside New District covers an area of 296 square kilometers. It's a fast developing zone themed as a modern service industry. It's a key part of the Connect Beijing development strategy of Hebin Province. And according to central planning, six major industries, tourism, education, mice, health management, and cultural creativity will be encouraged to develop within the district. In recent years, several big sized events were successfully held in this region, such as the Hung Sui Lake International Marathon and the first gardening expo of Hebei province. Obviously, these massive events have improved Hung Sui's tourism numbers and attracted many people from Beijing to enjoy holidays or business right here. They're welcome to invest in the fast developing lakeside new district and welcome to Hung Sui. In 2008, it was also recommended as the most beautiful wetland in Hebei province. The Hung Sui Lake National Nature Reserve that covers a total area of 163.65 square kilometers within which the Hung Sui Lake itself covering an area of 75 square kilometers is a freshwater lake with the largest area of monomer water in the South China Plain. It is particularly valuable, especially in the dry and water shortage north area. There is so much ecological value, sightseeing value, and research value at Hung Shui Lake, worthy of the attention it gets. That was the men and here's the check-in at the 5km mark in the women's category. As you can see, they are not that far behind the men's elite runners. This is now the sixth consecutive year that the Hung Sui Lake International Marathon has been successfully held, and it has changed the lifestyle of local people. These days, every morning you can see people in sports everywhere, whether in the city square, parks, or just beside the streets and roads. Hung Sui City actually took on the opportunity of organizing the Hung Sui Lake International Marathon 
to build up a healthier lifestyle for its citizens. Seven jogging paths have been built in the lakeside area to provide more sports space for the public and some other sports activities like going to the gym, cycling, sanshu or Chinese shadow boxing are also becoming increasingly popular in this area. Before joining Heng Sui as a district, Jizhou was a prefecture-level city under Heng Sui with a profound culture and very rich history. On the course, it's good to see that there are a few local runners in that leading pack, setting up for a nice time and possibly a good finish if they can keep that pace with the elite runners. Okay, the runners have just arrived at the Zhizhou district of Hengsui City. This district was set up in 2016 and located south of Hengsui Lake. Qi Ren Chou Mu is an outstanding professional runner in China. She competes in the National Marathon Championship, doing well here 30 minutes in, and all the elite runners are doing well, all steadily performing. This part of the course is good for maintaining a good running speed so it's looking likely that Chiren Mu could finish up with a good time. There are, of course, some other notable Chinese professional runners at the marathon today. Maybe they came for the good atmosphere at Heng Sui Lake or just the professional organization of the event. Hengshui Lake is also an outdoor sports training base of China's Hebei province. In 2016, the Swimming and Diving Management Center of Hebei Provincial Sports Bureau set up a swimming club in Hengshui. And at the just-concluded 2018 Jakarta Asian Games, a member of that club, 15-year-old Li Binji, won two gold medals and one silver. In July 2018, a women's basketball club was also established in Hengshui making it the first professional women's basketball club in that province. So we're now at the 15 kilometer mark and the leading pack is slowly breaking apart. Just one local runner left in there, so Chang Hong. Most of the front runners left are from Ethiopia, Kenya and Bahrain. Proof here that Heng Sui Lake is a true paradise for birds. The lake and the nearby wetlands provide the perfect habitat for birds. There are seven species that are first grade state protective birds. The red crowned crane, white crane, oriental stork, black stork, bustard, golden eagle, and the white shouldered eagle. There are also a great deal of second grade state protective birds, whooping swans, cygnets, and gray cranes. 48 species of birds in total.
Back to the race and the leading pack in the women's elites are now approaching the 15 kilometer mark in about 50 minutes. They've settled in just behind some male runners who look like the pace setters for today. In the lead at the moment is Kenya's Langa Leonard Kipkoech. His personal best was set at the Hague Half Marathon this year with a time of 59.41. Who knows, he might be the winner here and even set his personal best in a full marathon category in conditions like these. Good shot from the helicopter here and we can all soak in the beautiful natural scenery of Hung Sui Lake. Holding a marathon race here really lets people enjoy the environment. It's a great feeling of people and nature living in harmony. That island there we see right now is the site of the very famous Sulin Temple from ancient times. It is surrounded by water and mirages actually form in summer and fall sometimes giving Sulin Temple another name sometimes, the Hanging Temple. Well, this is that local runner leader now looking like he's hit the wall and looking like he'll be separated from the front pack. Back with the Chinese runner Cao Chang Hong, his goal is to get the gold medal in the championship. His time should be around two hours and six minutes in the half at this rate and about two hours and 15 minutes for the full course, making him the most competitive Chinese runner. There are a total of nine legs in the Chinese National Marathon Championships. Most of the athletes can't participate in all the legs. Normally, they can only join three or four. Leng Sui Lake International Marathon is the first option for many runners. It brings good times, weather, temperature and humidity, so it's relatively easy to get a good result. Plus, the running course is very comfortable. No gradient shifts, no slopes, very straight and very comfortable. Hung Sui Lake is also a national natural reserve. It is the ecological shield for North China and is honored as the kidney of North China, especially the wetlands of Hung Sui Lake that have a very important ecological value. In fact, the ecological value of one square meter wetland equals 10 square meters forest. And what's more, the wetlands also contain a strong function of carbon fixation and oxygen release. To the current women's elite leader, Gomesa Wakanesh Edessa from Ethiopia. Her personal best was set up in China at the Xiamen Marathon in 2016, and that was 224.04. The first 20 kilometers of the Hengshui Lake International Marathon allows the runners to keep a very good pace. The female runners can get into a good running rhythm simply by following the leading pacer and increase the chance of getting a better result. The Hung Sui Lake International Marathon is currently an IAAF silver label marathon. It is readying itself for an IAAF gold label. So the organizing work and event services are improving rapidly as a result. The number of participants is increasing and the promotion is better. In general, the Hung Sui Lake International can now meet the criteria for the IAAF gold label.
Here's Wang Kaili, another local runner who's running with Chiren Chumo. They exchange the lead in the local women's category. Back at the men's elite leading pack, we can see that there's more runners falling behind and only the top three are left in it. Langat Leonard Kipkoech leading the pack, followed by Haley Lemmy Bahanu and Kitesa Hapasa Nagasa. Now at the third quarter of the race and we can see the leading pack has been broken up even more and now Haley Lemmy Bahanu from Ethiopia is in the lead. Will he stay in front and finish this race in first place? Or maybe Langat Leonard Kipkoech from Kenya can chase and grab the win in the Hingsue Lake Marathon 2018. Just look at the pace set by our leader, Haley Lemmy Bahanu. He's been at that constant pace from the start. He's running at about one kilometer per three minute, and that is about 20 kilometers an hour. If he maintains this speed, he's projected to finish in around two hours and seven minutes, which could break the race record. There is a bonus prize of 10,000 US dollars if you do manage to break the race record, which was set in 2014 and is 20738. The world record for the men's category obviously is 20257, and if you can break that, you get yourself a hundred thousand US dollars bonus on top of your prize money. The prize money for the men's category is 40,000 US dollars if you finish below 209 or 20,000 US dollars if you finish equal or above 209. We've reached the turning point now. From here, our runners will head straight to the finish line of this marathon, the finish line being in Marathon Square where the run started. So roughly six kilometers to go between the turnaround point and the finish line.
taking a look at the 35 kilometer split mark now and we can see how far Haley Lemmy Bahanu is in front. There's now a 30 second gap between first and second and the third place runner is some 40 seconds behind second. As with all marathons, electronic timing systems are in place for recording results. Each runner is required to wear a disposable chip provided by the LOC. At the start-finish, turning point and each 5km marker, there is one reacting carpet placed for timing recording and runners must pass over them one by one. Can't miss the carpets or it's a null time. So it seems that Haley Lemmy Bahanu couldn't manage to maintain his speed at the 35 km split. He's lost a bit of time there and the race record might now be out of his reach sadly. Chinese runner Chao Chang Hong though is looking in very good condition today and it looks like he will finish as the top local runner for the day. For the local runners they receive the same amount as the elite category if they finish in the top 8. However, if they finish outside of the top 8 they will still receive a prize of 5,000 renminbi if they finish as the top Chinese runner. This applies to both the men's and women's category. Back to one of those Chinese runners now, Miju Enema. He is now in first place of all the Chinese runners as he just passed Cao Chang Hong. A very young professional runner hailing from Tibet. A lot of professional runners from Tibet proving they are very competitive these days. Marathons are not only highly participated international sports events, but also tourism events. In fact, it is a perfect integration of sports and tourism. Since the Hung Sui Lake International Marathon was first held in 2012, it is won widespread praise because of the high attention of its leader group, beautiful track environment, high quality of event services, and excellent competition results. The Hung Sui Lake International Marathon has given this ecological, livable and charming lake city a chance to showcase itself in front of the world and make Hung Sui Lake even more famous. In recent years, with the help of this marathon, Hung Sui City has attracted more and more tourists, especially on national holidays. The farmhouses alongside Hung Sui Lake are always full of visitors from nearby provinces and cities here to experience and enjoy the fun of living in a farmhouse and eating farmhouse meals. Back to the race and although he's running alone at the front, he has managed to maintain his speed here Will we see a new race record?
How far is Haley Lemmy Bahanu from the second place runner? Well, you can see here that it's about 40 seconds ahead, and that means it might be difficult for Katessa Hapasa Nagasa to chase him. So we've reached the last kilometer of the race and with one minute remaining to break the race record, it's looking very likely that Haley Lemmy Bahanu will get that 10,000 US dollar bonus. However, he should still be happy just to finish as the winner. He's either going to get 40,000 USD or 20,000 USD as prize money. He can see the timings in front of him. He knows and will try to increase his speed now. The record awaits if he can take it. He can see the finish line now and all of the spectators are pushing him on. You can see the smile on his face. He knows which prize money he will get, I reckon. And there you have it. The winner of the Hingsway Lake Marathon 2018 is Haley Lemmy Bahanu from Ethiopia with an official time of 2.08.50, just outside the record. But he looks happy and throws a fist in the air. Good solid run. And here's Kitesa Hapasa Nagasa from Ethiopia for second place. He finishes the race with a 209.13, a very good run from him as he breaks his personal best of 210.17, which he set at the Mumbai Marathon in 2016. And third place is for Ruto Dominic Kipnegatic from Kenya with a time of 209.48. He must feel a little disappointed as he couldn't break his personal best this time. And now we're back with the women's category. Just two runners left in this leading pack. Leading the race is Gomesa Wakanesh Edessa from Ethiopia, while in second place is Amari Waganesh Makasha. The amount of the prize money and bonuses are the same for both men's and women's categories, remember. However, women's timings are usually a bit later. The world record for the women's marathon is 2.15.25, while the race record is 2.25.25. 43, which was set here at the 2015 edition. And here is the leading local women's runner, Wang Kai Li. She was running alongside Chiren Chu Mo for most of her time in this event, but she's on her own now and at the latter stage of the race.
He can see the finish line now, and he probably doesn't know this, but he is at the moment currently in eighth place overall. This would mean that he'll be receiving 1,000 US dollars in renminbi instead of 5,000 renminbi for finishing as a top local runner. That's about 7,000 renminbi in all, but a great achievement to be able to place himself as the top runner overall. And here you go, China's top finisher in the Hingsui Lake International Marathon 2018, Mijuenima with a time of 2.16.56. We are back to the front of the elite women's category. It seems that Gomesa Wakanesh Edessa has managed to distance herself from Amari Wakanesh Makasha a little. With just over two kilometers left, it seems that they are both on course to break the race record today. And here is the local women's runner, Wang Kai Li. It also seems that she will finish ahead of her fellow runner, Chiren Chu Mo. She still looks strong and keeps on increasing her speed. This is really amazing. Amare Waganesh Makasha has now taken the lead from her colleague, Gomesa Wakanesh Odessa with less than two kilometers left. Maybe she snatched it. into the last one kilometer of the race and Amari Waganesh Makasha is now increasing her lead over her chasers. And here are her split timings. She started the race a bit slow at 12 kilometers an hour, but then she sped up till the 20 kilometer mark and maintained a speed of 17 kilometers an hour. Finishing at 2.25.57 and just missing out on the race record by 14 seconds, the winner of the women's category is Amari Waganesh Makasha from Ethiopia. She also set up her personal best at this marathon, beating her previous personal best of 2.29.18, which she set at the Padova Marathon earlier this year. While her fellow countrywoman Gomesa Wakanesh Odessa finishes second, with 226.28. Wow. Another Ethiopian, Gadabu Gabianesh Ayele, finished third with 226.54 and beat her personal best of 232.25. 
which was set at the 2017 Guangzhou Marathon. Congratulations to all of our runners today. So we've come to the podium ceremony for this event. Third place in the men's category is Ruto Dominic Kipnegatic from Kenya. Second place goes to Katessa Apasa Negasa from Ethiopia. And the winner is Haley Lemi Bahanu, also from Ethiopia. And now for the women's category. In third place is Gadamu Gebianesh Ayele from Ethiopia. Second place is Gomesa Wokanesh Edessa, also from Ethiopia. And the winner is Amari Waganesh Makasha also from Ethiopia.
that's it from us here at the Hingsui Lake International Marathon 2018. Till we meet again next year, goodbye.